Okay, good morning, first graders. I'm so glad you guys all went to school on time this morning, and welcome back. I'm glad to have y'all here. Um, I hope you guys got good sleep last night because today we're going to be moving into a new topic, and the topic is how to complete or to just complete task on time. Does anyone know how to complete a task on time? No one? Perfect. Well, we're going to learn all about it today. And so what a task is, is something that you have to get done because you are told to or because you just want to. Okay, so we're going to be doing a task today because we're told to. Because I'm going to give you guys something to do and we're going to do it together. And we're going to complete it in a certain time span in order to follow the guidelines and to understand and learn how to complete them on time. Because that's a very important if that's very important information we need to carry on with us as we grow older. So, I'm going to show you a short little video. And you guys are really going to like this one. You've liked them in the past. So, it's about steps to complete them on time. And then we're going to do a little one-minute activity. And we're going to see if you guys understand and can complete them on time. And then we're going to wrap things up. And you guys are going to go to your second period, which is going to be your art period. So, that's something exciting to look forward to. But you're only going to get art today if you pay attention during this lesson, okay? Everyone good? Good, everyone? Perfect. Okay, class, let's get our attention back. Okay, Sawyer, you know when we're learning and we're talking, you know our two rules are not to talk when the teacher's talking and don't make noises, okay? Because that's going to cause a distraction and nobody else is going to be able to hear that, okay? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the video, what we learned, and how to move forward from it and move into this activity to where we all understand. So, does anyone have any questions, comments? Anything about the video that just didn't make sense to you because we can talk about it right now before we get into the activity. Yes. You have a question? I forgot it. You forgot it? Okay, that's okay. We're going to talk about the video. So, in the video, they pointed out some important information like staying on task because it gets your work done. It makes you focused and we need to stay focused. We're big first graders now, so we... Staying focused is hard for us. I know it is. So that's why we get breaks. We get to do different activities. But this video helps us learn, like, we have to stay on task. And, like, in the real world, when we get old, we, we're always going to have to be on task if we want to get stuff done and get a big job. So to move forward from the video, if there's no questions or anything, we sure we can, we can talk about it if no one understands. You can pick your pet up. Okay, so everyone in their seats, facing their desk with their pencil on their desk. And put your pencil down, thank you. And I'm gonna pass out a worksheet. So this worksheet has your name already on it and it's called the one minute task. So what I'm gonna have you do is write your name, write your age, your favorite pet, and your birthday. If you don't know your birthday, that's completely okay. You can leave that answer blank. But the key to this work or exercise is we're only going to have one minute. So you have to try to fill out your worksheet in one minute. And if you don't, it's okay. Nothing's going to happen. Like no grade, no nothing. We're just going to work on completing tasks on time. And this is just the first day of it. So we're going to continue to do it throughout the days in this week. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass out your worksheets. Okay, so you see where it says name, where you're gonna write your name, your age, your favorite pet, and your birthday. Okay, so when I say go, you may start and you will have one minute. All right, okay, you can go. And I'll be walking around making sure that everyone's doing it correctly and we're understanding it and really using our knowledge from the video. So Sawyer's writing his name. Who else is getting there? You guys are doing good over here. So you're on your age. Your age is how old are you? There you go. Your favorite pet. That's what Sawyer's on and you guys are on that too. Guys are doing great. Keep it up. We're doing really good. We're staying on task. All right, time. Everyone put their pencils back down on my desk, please. So as you can see, we're gonna use Sawyer's as an example. We got there three of them. So he got his name, his age, and his favorite pet of a dog. And he didn't get to his birthday. And that's okay because tomorrow we're gonna continue to do different activities and little one minute, two minute, three minute videos, or sorry, not videos. We're gonna also watch videos tomorrow, but we're gonna be doing worksheets like this and different activities to help us really understand what a task is. So did you understand this activity, Sawyer? Yes. Okay, do you think it's useful that we understand and learn and complete tasks on time? Yes. You do? Good, I think it's very important because if you're not doing it on time, then you're you just don't have anything in order and you're not getting anything done on time. Like, for instance, in the classroom, is it important that you turn in your homework when I tell you to? Yes. Do you know why? What happens if you don't? No. You don't know why? Okay, well, you don't get your grade. You'll get a bad grade in the class. And that's not what you want, right? Yes. That is what you want? No. No. You're right. It's not what you want. You don't want to get a bad grade. So I'm going to go ahead and come around and pick up all these worksheets. Put them over here and I'll grade those. And that's just gonna be a little participation grade, not anything major. I'm just gonna let y'all know y'all did it right. We stayed on task, we completed the task because I told you it's okay to not do your birthday. And he did all the other ones just like everyone else in the classroom did. So it's really awesome that we're already starting off on a good word. And then tomorrow when we continue to talk about it, we're gonna do longer task because short tasks are easy to complete but longer ones are a little bit harder because they're more complicated they're harder to understand so that's what we're going to talk about more tomorrow okay okay now sawyer let me see this please remember what we talked about earlier in the lesson now when you tap your pen while i'm talking it's interrupting me you remember that sawyer yeah. Okay, so that's what just happened again. I just want everyone in the class to understand we cannot talk or make noises like that while the teacher's talking because then nobody else can understand what's going on. So I'm gonna take your pen for a little bit. You don't get to use it until I give it back to you. And that's just you having to learn like you can't do that while we're talking or while I'm talking, okay? It's nothing against anyone else. If, any, if it happens to anyone else, we'll address it then. But right now I'm gonna take your pencil, okay? It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to hold on to it so you can focus on me. So, since we learned about completing tasks and understanding them, we're really going to carry it on until to, into tomorrow's lesson. And right now, we're going to focus on trans, transferring from this, completing this task to completing our art task. So, you take this lesson that we just learned everywhere you go, whether you realize it or not. So, do you think it's going to be useful for you to take this task that we just learned and yes. do it in art? You think it's important to finish your artwork on time? Yeah. I think it is too. So, that's really what we're going to focus on. We're going to remember what we learned and throughout the day just be like, oh, I did that earlier. Like, oh, I learned about that. Oh, we did a one-minute lesson on that. 
and then you're really going to understand more and it's going to help you later in the future to complete your task on time. So does anyone have any questions about this lesson before we go into art class? Any questions at all? Yes. You have a question, Sawyer? Art is a lot of stuff. Artwork? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It is a lot. And that's what we're about. We're gonna we're gonna transfer over and we're gonna really talk about art, but we're done with this lesson. We're gonna continue to think about it more in the other lessons, but that was the main topic. So we're now gonna move on to art, but art is a lot, and we're gonna get through it today. So if everyone will stand up, everyone stand up. There you go. And go to their art table. So go to where your name's at. At your art table. Thank you. Just sit down. And we'll get started on art. So if we don't have any questions, we can go ahead and move forward. And thank you guys for being such good listeners during that lesson today.